Hello, everybody. I'd like to show you some more about how numbers work. I am going to write something down on my piece of paper. I'm going to write five plus two. I'm going to have a sum here, and I'm going to multiply my sum times three. You might notice I don't have a multiplication symbol there. When mathematicians start using more numbers, they've used these parentheses to indicate whatever is in the parentheses will be multiplied by the number next to it. So we've omitted the multiplication sign here. So let's begin. I also want to make a point that when we have a multiplier, we tend to use the gray tiles, but I'd like you to be able to see them better. So I'm using the white tiles. But when you practice this, you'll remember from your work with the checkerboard that the gray tiles represent the multiplier. So everything inside our brackets is the multiplicand. And our multiplicand has two terms, a five and a two. Now what we're going to do is take this multiplier and we'll multiply the five times the multiplier and the two times the multiplier. So that means taking the five three times and the two three times. All right, we've laid that out. Now let's take the two three times. Now let's place the sums. Five three times is 15 and two three times is six. Our symbol of four addition is right here. So let's add these together. And what do we get when we put these together? We get 21. So now we know that five plus two taken three times is equal to 21. Now we'll reverse it. We're going to take this multiplier and turn it into our multiplicand. And now we'll take our beads that were together, the five and the two. Since we're using tiles for our multiplier, let's continue to do that. So five, two, we'll put the plus sign in there. And we want to continue to use our parentheses to keep those two terms in there. Remember, everything inside of our brackets holds our multiplier now. In this problem, our multiplier had one term. And in this problem, our multiplier has two terms. So now let's take our multiplicand, the 3 bead, and we'll multiply it by each term in our multiplier. So let's take the 3 five times. And now let's take our three two times. Okay, three taken five times is 15. And three taken two times is six. Remember, the term is asking us to add these products. So we have 15 plus six. And we'll exchange then our answer is 21 again. And I'd like you to explore having a two-term multiplicand with beads inside parentheses multiplied right here with a multiplier tile. And then go ahead and reverse that. Turn the tile into a bead and it will become the multiplicand. And now your two-term sum will become the multiplier with tiles. I want to point something out to you. Is this the first time that you've seen a multiplicand or a multiplier with two terms in it? That's rather fun and interesting, isn't it? It's something that's really exciting to explore. 
So when that happens, when you have more than one term, you always need to make sure you multiply both of them by the other. So remember here, we multiplied both of these terms by the other, and here we're multiplying both of these terms by the other. And what happens with the answer? The more you practice with this, you might find. That's what I want you to discover. So when we take this to pencil and paper, it looks like this. Five plus two, let's put our brackets. Remember, we don't need the multiplication sign because mathematicians have concluded that the parentheses means to multiply by three. And what was our product? It's 21. And on the other side, we have one term of three and five plus two as our multiplier. And our answer again was 21. So what we learned from this is when a multiplicand or a multiplier is made up of two terms, we can say each term must be multiplied by the other number. So another way to say that is this other number is distributed over the terms. And therefore we call it distributive law. And now you've learned commutative law and distributive law. And distributive law, you will also see in further math lessons. So it's really important to learn now because it'll pop up again and again. Have fun practicing with this and we'll see you soon. We have a lot more lessons at Guidepost with activities that you can do at home or at school. One of my favorites is in the video description below.